Without creative insights and a tool to measure the impact of your creatives, you're basically burning money. Now in this video, I'm going to be doing a walkthrough of how to use Motion and to basically use their tool to effectively measure the impact of your creative test. And with this tool, you're able to see hook rates, hold rates, CTR, and be able to tell which creatives are actually moving the needle forward for your business and effectively launch creative tests on a weekly basis and be able to iterate on those creative tests in an effective way. Now, please come with me to my computer and I'm going to be walking through how to actually use Motion. So how to actually track creative metrics in motion. Now, if you don't know me, I run an advertising agency that runs ads for e-commerce businesses from seven, eight and nine figure brands to help them scale up through paid media and performance creative. And motion is honestly a tool that's so important for myself, the media buying team, and also our creative team to be able to iterate IG8 and basically make better creatives every week. And that's allowed us to get such good results like these. Um, for example, for this brand, we scaled them from 4.3K to 75K a month in Right here you can see in October 2023, they did just 4.3K. And basically in December, they did 75K in revenue with an amazing CPA, as you can see right there. And in November and December, we did a total of 107K in total sales. And to be honest, if it wasn't for Motion, we wouldn't be able to find such good and better creatives. Same for this one as well. We generated almost 400k at a 4.50 ROAS on TikTok. Every week we go into no emotion and from there be able to extract all of our winners and be able to iterate on them and make them even better and ship more creatives because with TikTok you want to create more ads at a fast pace because creative fatigue is so high there. And the last one right here, you can see scaling from 5K to 53K in just 60 days with an NC ROAS of 3.70, which is ultimately crazy. And yeah, motion just really helped us out here. So uh, right here, you can see some creative results. These are pulled all from motion. You can see right here on the left, you will see 32K spend, 76,000 dollars in purchase value and you can see the thumbs up rate of 50 percent and with motion you're able to extract all of the data in easy to view um overview and i'm just going to dive into that in just a moment right here you can just see some other examples where we've scaled these brands with our amazing creative team and motion was just at the forefront of that so let's go into motion and actually walk you through all of our um, creative system we're in my motion right now and i'm going to be talking over my favorite report um so let's get started the first one is the top creative report which is a very yeah very good report where we you can look at the spend, ROAS, CPA, CTR outbound, click the purchase, and you can see which creatives are actually driving the purchase and which have the highest CTR and which have the lowest CPA and the best ROAS. And right here, you can see the best uh, one in terms of like value, in terms of spend, etc. And you can also go to creative insights and there you can just see like how is this creative doing and you will see the data in just a moment and right here and a very let me see i really like this one where you can combine them and look at oh, which ones are actually driving the ROAS and you can see it in different overviews you also have this one as well where you can see it in like a graph and you can see oh, this one is spending so much on this day and we can see the uh, amount of spend and purchase value and see ah oh, these are driving on this day the most sales etc so that's really valuable in my opinion and you can also look at a breakdown and you can see in which campaigns are these creatives located so you can see ah oh, it's in this campaign and it will collect basically uh, if you have the same name on the creative name or the ad name on the ad level it will basically group them together right here you can see four ads and if we go to ad breakdown you can see in these campaigns this creative is active and this campaign is driving this result and this creative is driving this result so for example if you're testing different audiences or different countries you can see which country is doing the best with that creative so that's really 
valuable as well and the next one is top ad copy so i will look at the last 14 days right here for this account uh, i have blurred some details as i'm not want to reveal the specific numbers for this client and don't show the specific client name so right here you can see this copy is doing um they even show like a see more rate because you will see like a preview of the copy and if people click see more you will see like the percentage right there and there is a correlation right here you can see the ctr is much higher on the one where the see more rate is almost double compared to the average right here it's 51 uh, percent higher so you can see this ad copy is doing the best this one as well and this one too but they have spent the least so it might make sense yeah this one has an emoji and this one hasn't so that might be an interesting finding to see which copy is doing the best and you can add different metrics as well but for copy look at spend look at your see more rate and look at your ctr top landing page as well um, it's really valuable because you can see the ad and which ads are driving the amount of conversions to which landing page and you can see your click to add the cart ratio you can see for example for this one the bestseller one is uh, having the most spent and right here it has a click to purchase rate of 1.64 you can see preview of the landing page right here 2.05 um, so the product page right here is doing quite well compared to the bestseller one but still the bestseller one has the most spend so it's not that significant that the product page is doing better so you can draw some conclusions i just wanted to go back on top creators because i didn't cover everything that i wanted to cover because right here you can see ah oh, this video for example you will have like your click to add the card rate your add card aperture rate and also you can look at of course the thumb stop rate and you can even filter down ah oh, which credit has the most the best thumb stop rate so this one is 17% it's better 16% better than average so you can see ah oh, how is this creative doing and what can i effectively change to this creative to make it better so that's really valuable and also uh, another report that i recently discovered is the creative type comparison you can see videos have a roas of 2.08 6k in spend however dcos like dynamic creatives have a spend of 3.4k and a 1.8 uh, roas but images um they have a spend of 800 and a roas of 2.23 so it might make sense for this brand to test more static ads because images seems to be doing better in terms of like the overall roas it did spend less but it's a good like top level view of seeing which creatives are actually producing the best results and right here dpa it's not significant so it might not make sense to spend more on dpa ads so this is really valuable and also video deep dive you will see certain metrics you can see the watch score the click score uh the convert score which is um quite handy you can see the ability of this creative to drive purchase conversions so this one is doing really well you can see at the overall scores it's all in the green however this creative spend the most this one as well the hook score is quite good the hook score on this one isn't the best so it might make sense to improve the hook of this video because you can see like ah the hook score of this one is a bit better not extremely like a lot lot better but it might make sense to look at this hook and see like ah oh, um what's this credit doing that this creative isn't and um you will get a lot of insights if you spend like maybe even 10 minutes a day in in motion and look at all these reports on the left and see what can i do to improve my creatives and that's what i advise every creative team to do to every day look at your creatives and see what's what's happening and see what i can do to improve everything then static deep dive you will see click and convert score of your static ad so for example right here this one is doing extremely well um, this one isn't only like 66 in spend so what can we do for this one to improve it even more um right here you can see uh two ads and you can see click to purchase 2.89 this one has a better click to purchase because it has some social proof in the image it has happy customers this one has sale in the creative so what we want to do is probably add some additional social proof in this one to get the click to purchase to be a bit higher and then see what happens obviously the amount spent is a bit lower so i would take that with a grain of salt but it's still valuable information to know um right here the top hook report is very very good because you will see the overall spend and the hook score so you will see look at the spend and the thumb stop ratio uh, or the hook score right here 
you will see that this creative has the best hook score and you can see which hooks are doing really well for us and maybe you can take some of them and see like what you can do for them to add on top of the other creatives to see uh, this creative might have a very good hook score but the other one doesn't really but it is really good, like converting really well that's a good ROAS but the hook is not perfect so we can see from different creatives and cross pollinate from them and take one hook from another and then of course you can add some other hooks on top of your other winners to improve it even more and then creative fatigue i really find this one valuable because it will look at spent and the cpc over time so you will see um this creative for example yeah so you can see the trends of like what are the costs and what's happening to my creative over time and see is it actually creative fatigue and what's happening on this creative to be able to tell like oh the cpc is going up um what's actually happening with this creative because it tanked and spent and what can we do to improve it and get more life out of it maybe make a different variation etc so that's a really valuable report in my opinion so that's the overview of motion and how our creative team actually uses it in practice and how we use it on a day-to-day week-to-week and monthly basis to find more winning ads and it's a really valuable tool in my opinion and if you're running an agency or you're running a brand or you're a creative partner i would advise you to look at this tool they have a 14-day free trial um, check the link out below in the description um, be sure to check it out and see what it can do for yourself for your brand or for your clients and let me know how it goes let me know how you like it and if you have any questions on how to use motion please drop them in the comments below and i look forward to hearing your ideas your thoughts and how i can even improve my overall motion if you have any tips leave them down below as well and that's it for this video um, if you like this video please subscribe to the channel because it will help the algorithm to reach more people like you and get this value out to more people so i would really appreciate that and if you like like the video share it with a friend because if you find this valuable probably a friend in the industry would probably enjoy it even more so um that's it i'm going to wrap up now and i'm looking forward to see you in the next one